Hi, you're welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll take a look at the most requested video on this YouTube channel and that is how to set up the VMIS caller and also for those of you that have been having one challenge or the other while setting up the VMIS caller on your system I'm also going to provide a solution for you what the problem is and how you can fix that now the A to Z tutorial on how you can fully set this up is what we're going to take a look at in today's video and do not forget that VMIS caller works in all versions of VMIS including the 21, 20, 22, 23 24, 25, 26, and also the Vimage 27 that is still in the beta state. The same process I'm going to share with you is what you could replicate and use it to set up the Vimage corner on all versions of Vimage. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. And without any further ado, let's dive in. The first thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and open the VMI software that you're using. Okay, so whichever version you're making use of, just go ahead and pop that up. And you can see on the screen, I'm using the better VMI 27. Bring in your bunch of inputs you want to add on VMI, be it your video card, your webcam, from your black magic, whichever one you want to bring in. So click on this add input here on VMI, click on that. And once it pops up, go over to camera here, then click on the camera, select the whichever camera you have plugged in on your system. I'm just going to put this audio on none and then click on OK. Once you have your camera or whichever video device you're using, once you already have that on the VMIS here, now go over to the add input here on VMIS. Click on the add input here. Then once the add input is up already, go over to video call. See the video call here? This is a video call. Now, this is where most people have issues. When they pop this up, they discover it shows them one error or the other. And that is because you're using unlicensed version of vmis so if you're using an unlicensed version of vmis or you block the vmis through the firewall or you block the vmis through the um the host it's not going to work if you're using a licensed version from vmit itself it should go, you're going to see this is definitely going to work for you so if you take a look at the screen here i'm using the vmis trial so it will work over here you have a password that they already given to you so you can decide to reset this password to whatever you want to use now you as the host, you're the one hosting the call, you select the host here, but if you're connecting, you've, you click on connect a call here and then you can put in the password that is already given to you. Now the host will have to send you a particular password, all right? Now since I'm the host here, for example, just copy this link you see on the screen here and I want to select the video source I want them to see. Now you can see the output one, the output two, the output three, and the output four. Now you can decide to select what goes into all these outputs. Let me quickly show you that. Just going to click on cancel. Now go over to settings at the top here. Go over to settings. Then once you click on that, go over to output, NDI, and SRT. Now over here, you see the output one, two, three, four. That is what you just saw previously. With the output one you can select to put you can decide to put anything there it can be your input one your input two whichever thing you want them to see you can actually select that here let me just quickly off this ndi so you can select with whatever thing you want them to see from here any of your input you want them to see set it on one you set the one for two you set the one for three you set the one for four if you don't want them to see whatever is in your output so you can just select any of the input you have already on vmis that you want them to see all right now, once you've already set this up, just click on OK. Now, let's go back to the video call. Now, on video call, click on this copy link here and send it to your guest that you want him or her to join you live on Vimeo. Now, once you're sending this link to them, remember the password is also attached on the link. You don't need to input any password at all. And this thing is very handy for those that want to join using their smartphone and those that also want to join using their browser on their system and you just have to open the link and they'll be brought to your vmis production so let's go ahead and test it out so i'm just going to copy this let's start with the system first now we can then go over to the phone part I'm just going to click on ok here i already copied the link and this is it here you see now open my web browser here let me just go ahead and open my chrome here is some seconds and once it's finished loading just select any of this window here then let me go ahead and paste the link this is the link that we just copied click on it and you see it's going to load now the only thing they need to do is just for them to put in their name 
going to be poured or anything you can see the password here is also attached on the link as well and then click on join wants to use your camera use your mic just click on allow they have to all click on this allow and once they've done it they don't have to do it again it just once then once you just click on this allow here allow it to use your webcam and it's also allow it to use your microphone okay so this is currently what i set as my webcam as you can see here on the screen both the video and playing on vmix is also showing here so it can be your webcam can be your camera input that you brought in on vmix you will also be able to see that as well and then if you also have like a bunch of webcam software that you install on your system just like me have like a bunch of them this is how you to set it to use your laptop webcam chrome now click on this three dot line here at the top right here click on the three dot line and then go over to settings okay so scroll down till you see the settings here click on the settings then go over to privacy and security click on that scroll down till you see site settings this one here click on that again then scroll down to you see this camera here see the camera here and the microphone now click on the camera then from here you can see it's set on x split vcam this is one of the webcam software that i installed on my system click on it and once you've already done this this is it here you see we have to change to my webcam you can see it's showing there on the screen and here is a video play of vmix this is my webcam from here both the guest and the host can interact with each other you can see it here so I can see what the host is doing and the host can also see what me as a guest is doing as well. Okay, and then when you open the Vimeo, let me just minimize this. If you open it on Vimeo, this is webcam, you can see here. This is the Vimeo's color, you can see it. This is the Vimeo's color and it doesn't even lag at all, you can see. It doesn't even lag at all. Very, very smooth. You can use this to bring in multiple guests. Here now, you can project your guests on the screen and if you want to do um, picture in picture, on vmix so maybe you want to use the vmix multi view let's click on this add input here then go over to title here and click on the multi view select any of it uh, any of this multi view here then this is the headline what you want that's the te title of the program it be all but past okay then on the description left just put your name paul here as a host and then the guest the key okay this is a okay. just double click on it as the multi view double click on that then go over to layers this one here go over to layers and once you're here click on the one two this one not the first one not the second one the third one click on the third one then go over to number one here click on it and then select what you want to put as the host video you already have brought in on vmix and just select this and then the number two, bring in the guest video. That is the co-pod there. You can see here, this is the two of them side by side. The host is talking, the guest is also reacting. So whatever thing that the host or maybe questions that the host is uh, throwing at the guest, so he or she can also react to it as well, just side by side. You can also use the GT title on VMEs. I made a couple of videos on the GT title to design your own custom multi views. Open their browser and then grant the permission there and they can use their smartphone to join as well now let's go ahead and also test that you know go ahead open your web browser the type of search url click on paste and then search for it this is it once it pops up on the screen just type in your name all here then click on join call we'll see it right there just granted access to use your camera and also your mic as well okay see? once that is done you should be able to see your host and the host should also be able to see you as well you can see sending both the video and audio as well on my smartphone see what i can see there then on the system too and I also see the uh, guest as well and then on the smartphone i can see the host also the network on my phone is not actually strong that is why it seems like it's lagging a bit you can see it there on the screen that is because the network is not really stable here in my row if they also want to join using the vme software all they have to do is to click on this add input on their system go over to video call and then connect to a call you just need to put in the password that is this password here on the screen this one here so they just need to put in this password here click on connect there's the password here and their name that's from their vme software See? that's the feed that they want to send out as put one at two or three and then their video 
Bang to that's the video quality, the audio source, and then from here, click on OK. It will connect, and this is how to use the VMIS caller.